particularly reference to Hillsborough, which is one of the leaders perhaps there, so they you know, in terms of the comments that she made during the election.
there is any resentment and in fact is in bad taste and that's why I challenge you. And I should withdraw that comment and say that I was in bad taste. None of us challenge whether you're politicised this week. I've said that very quite plain to you why I should have. But I think the one was not with the committee because we've been on for a long time and that's why it's always been operated. So that's what I challenge you on, not on the fact about being political or not, but about the fact that you use something inappropriately. In my opinion, anyway. If I can just answer that, please answer it. I only take Hillsborough as an example of the police. We all know many instances of the police have been covered up, it's on record. That is one of the principal ones that's happened in the last few years. I lost relatives at Hillsborough. Don't give me any charge about that. All I'm saying is, let me finish. I was using Hillsborough, Hillsborough as an example of the cover-ups that took place at the time. I was in Yorkshire at the time when this happened. I saw it all happen close to. I was appalled by what went on. And the consequences of the investigation that's gone on since burn out what my concerns were at the time. I don't need to go into detail with that, but it's not within the reason for this committee. All I'm saying is I was using this as an example. That's all I was using it as, of organisations which scrutinise themselves. I did not lose my temper. I was merely making what I believe to be a fair point. You know me well enough, Ron, to know I'm not politically motivated in the way that you suggested of me. And I will not stand by.